after an overnight passage, we arrived in Santa Rosalia. We met some new friends on Adios and decided to go explore the town. Santa Rosalia is an old French mining town, so we hiked up to see the mining museum. We're still working on our Spanish skills, but I think we caught most of what our guide said about the old mining days in Santa Rosalia. We got some much needed canvas work done before heading over to Sweet Peak Cove on Isla San Marcos with our friends on Adios. And we found some really cool swim through sea caves while doing some snorkeling. It was on Isla San Marcos that we caught our first Sierra, one of my favorite fish to eat. Next, we were headed off on an overnight passage to San Francisquito. Despite the great fishing and snorkeling, our stay at San Francisquito was cut short when we learned that Hurricane Newton was coming our way. So we had a brief stop at Isla Salsipuedes before headed over to Puerto Don Juan to ride out the storm. We avoided a direct hit from the hurricane, but we got some great shots of the night before the storm rolled through. When the skies cleared again, our new friends on Kenta Ane took us spearfishing, and Mike got his first grouper. But our most exciting wildlife encounter were the whale sharks we found in the Bay of LA. These gentle giants weren't bothered by us at all, and they swam around our paddle boards for over an hour. They even let us jump in and swim with them.
Next, we set sail for Puerto Refugio on the northern tip of Isla Angel de la Guarda. We spent an amazing 10 days exploring the island with our friends on Quinta Ana. While doing some hiking, we discovered a shrine left by the fishermen on the top of the hill. It was at Puerto Refugio that we found some of the best snorkeling and diving in the sea, and we saw so many turtles we couldn't believe it. All good things must come to an end, and it was time for us to turn around and head south back toward La Paz. But more on that adventure next time. 